approaching the dock, but they've had a little struggles even getting this far. The motors died a couple times on them. Now, fortunately for them, it has restarted every single time. But they're approaching the dock. And it looks like they got a good angle, and they should be pretty good. But I think the motor just conked out on them again. And it looks like they're going to take a different approach this time. He goes ahead and grabs a paddle. And it looks like they're just going to try and paddle the last couple feet in. It's not as easy as it sounds. I mean, you're dealing with wind and current. You can already tell it's trying to pull them away from the dock a little bit as he's trying to get it back over there. But definitely a whole lot easier with the motor running. I mean, with the effort it's taking here, it probably was easier for him to go ahead and try and get that running one more time. But it looks like they might switch over and let the current drift him into the other dock, which is probably the correct play at this point. We turned away and we missed it. If you can't tell my man soaked, he fell in. I can't believe we missed it. We moved over to somebody else and in the process, <laughs> my man took a swim. So now he's gonna finish trying to walk the boat up. And he grabs his phone. Oh no, 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 now the phone takes a swim. I mean, I'm assuming it was in his pocket possibly anyway. I don't know, it might have been in the boat, but the phones took a swim as well. And basically my man is soaked and so is the phone. Hopefully everything's okay though. He appears to be all right at least. And our crew's gonna make their way toward the dock. And they're kind of taking the slow roll approach, and this is actually their second attempt back in on it. They backed out on the first attempt, they just didn't like the angle for some reason. Okay. And Cap's moving them in on it. Oh, oh, he went from slow roll to coming in a little hot, but we'll get the push off the dock. A little extra help from the crew, but watch the stern. The stern's coming in. And we're going to take the little smack. And it looks like the boat's still in gear. You can tell by the bubbles underneath that I think, so like this turn's kind of attached to the dock. So he's turned the wheel a little bit now. It should pull off, but it looks like he's gone into neutral as he's done that. And gives it a little bumper reverse, but man, we're just rubbing the whole way back down the dock now. I'm confused why nobody's jumping off the stern with the line. We've got a line on the bow. And looks like our man's thinking about going for the leap and then quickly walks his way back out of it. But no, here we go. We got the bow over now, and he'll get this one tied off. That was just an interesting approach, though. I mean, the stern was hit the dock and was rubbing against it. Somebody easily could have just jumped off the stern of this boat and walked it up, but they decided to take a little bit of a different approach on that one. And here we go. This was our crew that took the swim earlier with the phone, and I came back to them because they've got the most unique retrieval method here today. Um, basically, they put the boat on a dolly, and now they're gonna try and walk it up some plywood into a van. And the plywood's got like all the bend in the world. Like it barely can support my man's weight as he tries to walk on it. And now we're gonna try and run this boat up it. What could go wrong, right? What I'm really not sure about is, I mean, if we're gonna go this far, why wouldn't you just pick the front of the boat up, prop it in the van, and then grab the stern with the other guy and both you guys push in? It almost sounds easier. I could be wrong though. And no, our first attempt will be a no-go. And so we're gonna have to reline this one up and try it one more time. I mean, I guess this is definitely one way to avoid having to buy a trailer, store a trailer, and make life easy, but I'm just, I'm still just confused on this one. I mean, it still seems like there would be an easier method than this. And because the reality is you should be able to just get the bow of the boat up. Like right here, he should be able to go to the back and help my man push this thing up or pick it up and just slide it in. And they got it. They've gotten the push. 
Did I get it buttoned in there? And that one will get the job done. I'm actually surprised, because this is not a very big van, that that boat fits in the van. But it looks like it fits pretty solid, and this crew will be able to get this thing out of here. Still, a nice day on the water, even though my man spent a little bit of time in the water. So this is the third attempt to come at the dock. They've backed out three times, but a couple things are attracting me to this. And the first one, this boat's pretty small, and 130 horsepower seems like a lot on the back of it. I could be wrong, but I got a feeling this thing will get up and move. But Cap's going to back out one more time on this. He's just struggling on the approach. He's just not wanting to cooperate with him. And one more time, he'll back out. <laughs> the kid just kind of gave him like, what are you doing, bro? The dock's right there. So Cap's going to reset it up and try and make one more approach. So he'll, he'll turn back in with a bow first approach. And he's got the right angle. See if he can make his move here. And he goes for the... The boat's in reverse, bro. The boat's in reverse. He went for the grab, but messed up and the boat's in gear. And winds up losing it again. <laughs> the kid's giving it to him, bro. So Cap's going to have to make another attempt at this one. And this is probably the best move. He probably just needs to reset completely. He's kind of at a funky angle again. Oh, but watch out. We've got some other boat action going on now. And he's going to have to watch where he's going a little bit. He's going to get pushed off the dock by the other boat over here as well. So he's going to have to wait to reset and take a few moments before he can try and get this thing set back up to get back out of here. And it looks like he's going to kind of be ran off by this other boat. The other captain that's on the left here really isn't looking. He's just backing up kind of blindly. And our man's going to get pushed out of the picture. And he's going to have to reset everything up to get out of here. But speaking of getting out of here, we're going to get out of here as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Hallover, where Man and Machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.